Hi, welcome to the workshop. Today I am working on a teeny Esky motor Husky. This sled was built in Scarborough, Ontario, and I had the good fortune of being able to purchase this sled from Bob Cook, who was the president of the Antique and Classic Snowmobile Club of Canada many years ago. And since then, I have taken this sled on several rides, both in Ontario and in Michigan. I had this sled on display at the Top of the Lake Snowmobile Museum in Nobinway, Michigan, for many years. And I felt this past winter that it needed to come home and see the snow again. So it's back in the workshop. I'm attempting to get it running. I have been able to get the engine running on a spray of gas. Uh, however, the gas line was plugged. The petcock uh, had some material in it and was no longer operable. So what I've done is installed a uh, sediment bowl filter and petcock on the tank. This is something that should have been done originally anyways, but now I'm going to try and get the engine running. This sled is equipped with a six horsepower Lawson four-stroke engine. So what I'm going to do now is see if I can't get it to fire up for you on camera. The engine is not equipped with a recoil. In fact, <laughs> this was at the time of transition between uh, engines that had rope starts and recoils. Unfortunately, this one doesn't have a recoil, nor does it have electric start. I'm in the process of putting the sled on jack stands so that I can run the track and allow me to lubricate both the drive chain and the track itself. This sled is equipped with an articulating base which allows it to go over bumps in the snow. It has a pin that runs through the sled itself and this pen can be removed and the two parts of the sled can be separated. Some of the interesting things about the Esky motor is that it did have independent front suspension on it. Uh, if you have a look, these uh, <laughs> four inch springs on the skis and on the articulation are all the suspension that this sled had. The track is made up of steel cleats, um, 40 or 50 roller chain, and belting in, in the center. As you can see that the uh, chain is in need of some lubrication. I'm going to try and start it again. If it falls off the jack stands, you're not going to get to see it. But what I will be doing is using a commercially available chain of lubricant.
10 years. The little teeny with the 6 horsepower Lawson engine still runs great. I'm so pleased. I still need to do some work on the carburetor and throttle. Obviously that was at full throttle when I was out there, but there was still some gap and I've got some more room to rev that engine up.